Thank you for joining me in this Checkpoint Public Cloud Blueprint session. My name is Tal, and today I'd like to speak with you about the Checkpoint Public Cloud Blueprint, our architecture for deploying an agile, secured design for the cloud. So let's get down to business. Many organizations have started shifting application and services to the public cloud, looking to better use their IT resources and align it with what the cloud has to offer. Agility, elasticity, and efficiency. When designing your cloud environment, it's fundamental that the architecture is aligned with your business use cases while keeping an uncompromised approach to security. We have identified five top principles that we believe should guide the security in the cloud. The first one is the perimeter security with advanced threat prevention. When reading through the headlines of data breaches and attacks, it looks like the cloud attacks is the most prominent attack vector. Our responsibility as a security professionals is to minimize the risk of that vector. Segmentation. We enforce our security in two levels. The first priority is the access level where the firewall policy controls the traffic flow between different segments of our environment. The next level is the threat prevention where the security gateway analyzes the traffic that goes between those threats in the Gen 5 area. Agility. It is practically impossible to adopt industry-leading business practices if it takes weeks to provision service and services, or if your security operation becomes a significant roadblock to the business. The cloud design should maintain cloud agility while assuming the DevOps services does not cause loss of control or increase operational risk. Automation efficiency and elasticity. Cloud automation is a broad term that refers to the processes and tools organization use to cut the manual efforts associated with provisioning and management cloud workloads. Obviously, automation is relevant for security operation as the legacy way of manual protecting workloads and resources is no longer relevant in the modern cloud environments. Borderless. It's becoming a common practice for enterprise customers to launch their workloads in a multiple cloud environments in an effort to support their business requirements. The use of multi-cloud vendors is known as multi-cloud strategy. This strategy introduced security challenges such as enforcing a consistent security policy across all environments, easily managing the security from a unified central point. Securely connecting various cloud deployments and gaining visibility of all the traffic of all deployments. So, we came up with a new cloud security blueprint that shows how to architect your cloud design while addressing the challenges we raised. Let's go over the blueprint. The architectural concept is based on a hub and spoke model, where each spoke is connected to a central hub, and all the traffic to and from that spoke traverses through that hub. In our blueprint, we utilize two hubs for the sake of traffic separation. We divide our architecture into several segments. Let's discuss each section separately. This is our cloud environment. Our design is application-based, and we will deploy our application in the spokes. We can deploy each application in one or more spokes. We can have as many spokes as we need. The application owner or DevOps are managing the spokes and they have their freedom to work and deploy the application in the level of agility they need. The next step is the North Hub. This hub handles all the incoming traffic from the internet to our environment. That hub holds the security services that handles all the incoming traffic. The Cloud Guard gateways are usually deployed 
in an autoscaling formation that adjust the number of gateways to the throughput they need for the application usage. The last part of our blueprint is the South Hub. This hub holds several functions like control the traffic between the spokes, control the traffic from the spoke to the on-premise, and gain visibility and control the traffic that goes from the spokes to the internet. The Cloud Guard gateways in that environment are usually deployed in a formation of a cluster gateways or two gateways in two availability zones for better resiliency. We can connect our environment, our spokes, to the North Hub or to the South Hub, depends on our application needs and corporate requirements. And if we want to connect several cloud deployments from the same platform or multi-platform environment, this is how it's done. Implementing that blueprint architecture in one of our customers helped him to solve the challenges of separating the management traffic from the consumer services. It also helped him to enable the DevOps teams the agility they needed in the application spokes and the connections to the on-premise data center while maintaining the visibility for the security teams. When it comes to cloud security operations, automation is vital in order to reduce the potential risk and remove the human factor from the organizational processes. The implementation of the Blueprint architecture will help you to work securely in the cloud way. For more information, speak with your local Checkpoint representative or send an email to Amir, the Cloud Guard product manager. Thank you for watching.